Now I'll show you how you can launch your performance review in EPI in several easy steps. First of all, you should go to our review section and click on create button. Then the wizard is opened where you actually set up and launch your review cycle. So let's take a look at several steps you should go through to launch your performance review. First step is choose the flow step. These settings actually determine who will choose the reviewers. So the first flow means that the administrator will choose all the reviewers who will provide feedback during the setup. The second option means that all the reviewers will be chosen by the manager or any other person after the setup is over. So I'll choose the first option where I choose all the reviewers during the setup process. Now let's go to the next step. Next step is the step where you actually choose who will provide feedback. By default, we have two options selected, review and manager, but you can also choose peers and direct reports as reviewers. There is also short explanation provided so you can understand which options are best for you. I will choose all four options for our review cycle. Next step is the step where you choose review templates. You have to choose a review template for each review type you selected. So I'll choose some review templates now for all the review types. As you can see, there are two buttons next to each template. So the first button is the preview button. You can preview the template you chose just in this step. The second button is the button which brings you to the separate tab and opens your template you chose for this review type. This is pretty useful if you want to change something in the review template before you launch the review, or if you want to make sure you chose the right templates. Next step is the step where you choose the reviewees. So you can choose one or more employees who will receive feedback as part of the review. So I will choose a couple of employees. So the next step is the step where you choose the reviewers who will provide feedback for each review. You should know that managers and reports are automatically added to the list based on the info in the employee cards. So I'll choose the peers and direct reports for my reviewees. You should also know that if you want or need to change the manager, you, should, you can also do this on this step. Next step is the step where you can check the notification texts and edit them if necessary. You have to check the notification text for each review type you selected. I will leave the default notification text here. Next step is the step where you choose the level of access to the review results. We have two options, full access. It means the review, review is direct manager and review administrators will have access to all the review data. And the limited access option which means that review won't see the names of the reviewers, but the review is manager and administrators will still have full access. So I will leave the full access option selected. Next step is the step where you choose who can administer the review. So you can add some administrator here, or you can do this actually after you launch the review in the review card. Next step is the verification page. So here you can double check all the settings. You can also edit the review title. By default, we have performance review title selected, but you can put any title you like. And you can check that you selected the right flow, review types, review admins, and reviews. If everything is good, you can either save the review cycle and launch it later, or you can press start. I'll start the review right now. After you launched your review, you see the page where you can get the explanation of what will happen next. In here, you can see the review cards will be created within a few minutes and questionnaires will be sent to the reviewers. So if you have any questions left, you can contact us at hello at FAAI. Now let's go to our home page. This is our home page and how it looks like when you have no current tasks. So before I launch the review, my homepage looked just like this. There is an explanation 
what the user will see later here and why the page is empty. This is how your home page looks like when you have some current tasks. These tasks appeared after I just launched the review because I'm indicated as a manager to these two reviewees. So I can fill out the questionnaires just by clicking write review button. I can answer the questions and then submit the questionnaire. So if you were indicated as a manager to the reviewee and the flow was selected where the manager chooses the reviewers after the setup of the review cycle, then you'll have this kind of task. So here you can press select peers button, select peers and just submit it right from your home page. If we go back to our review section, you can see that the review cards for the review we just launched have already been created. If we open the review card, you can see the summary tab, which will be filled out after all the results are received and after one-to-one -one with the reviewee. The results tab, where you can actually look at the feedback the reviewers provided, and the details tab, where you can see all the configurations of this review cycle. Here you can see the list of the reviewers and whether they already submitted their questionnaires. And you can also see review admins and add some new admins if you want to add them to this review.